Hello, my name is Rich Koba, and I'm a Senior Product Manager at Materian Precision Coatings. Today, I'd like to talk about the products we make that are used in the fight against COVID-19. Materian Precision Optics is the leading manufacturer of filters and beam splitters for wavelengths ranging from the ultraviolet through the visible and into the long wave infrared. Our filters are being used in the fight against COVID-19 in instruments used in testing for the virus, for monitoring of patients, and for measuring of skin temperature to detect possible elevated temperatures and infection. So first, let's talk about the long wave infrared filters that are used in thermal imaging. Long wave infrared cameras are being deployed in public spaces and inside buildings to rapidly measure the forehead temperature of employees and customers. They have the advantage over simple point forehead detectors by being able to measure the temperature of multiple people at a time. Now, there is a relationship between normal forehead temperature and core temperature. Core temperature is measured, you know, by putting the thermometer under your tongue, but the forehead temperature is slightly cooler. So a normal forehead temperature is 93 Fahrenheit, which corresponds to a peak emission wavelength that 9.43 micron wavelength. To measure a elevated temperature if someone's uh, sick, uh, the forehead temperature goes to 100 Fahrenheit and the peak emission wavelength shifts a little slightly down to 9.32 micron peak temperature. We enable those cameras to measure that slight change in peak temperature by providing filters that block wavelengths between 1 and 7.5 microns, yet are highly transmissive in the long wave, including the wavelengths of 9.3 to 9.4. Our long wave filters typically are highly anti-reflective between 8 and 12 microns. Our long wave infrared filters are vital for the function of uncooled bolometer detectors that are built into the infrared camera that enable it to accurately and precisely measure forehead temperatures. These infrared cameras will proliferate throughout public spaces over the coming months in order to enable the safe reopening of offices, restaurant, hotels, and arenas. Materian's long wavelength infrared filters are critical for many other thermal imaging applications. For example, maritime cameras allow the captain of the ship to see through fog, security and surveillance, uh, which enables nighttime uh, surveillance of an area, automotive driving to enhance uh, visibility, especially in foggy or dark conditions, firefighting to allow firefighters safe uh, navigation in a fire and smoke, predictive maintenance, uh, looking for overheating, as well as process control in factories and in food processing. The next product family are infrared filters for gas sensing. These filters tend to have a narrow passband. For the fight against COVID-19, there is great interest and demand for materian filters that are used to detect carbon dioxide gas. The measurement of carbon dioxide in a patient's exhaled breath is called capnography. The instruments are called capnographs. And these capnographs are a common accessory for oxygen masks, CPAP, BiPAP, ventilators, and anesthesiology machines. Monitoring the exhaled carbon dioxide is a very useful, vital sign that can be monitored by a healthcare professional. To serve the capnography industry, we offer narrow bandpass filters, notch filters, and beam splitters that zero in on the fingerprint of carbon dioxide, which is at a wavelength of 4.26 microns. Materian's carbon dioxide filters, beam splitters, and notch filters are also used for other applications in the detection of carbon dioxide to monitor air quality, in automotive combustion gas monitoring, and in other gas detection, as well as the medical applications. 
Materian's carbon dioxide bandpass filters offer excellent repeatability from lot to lot. These two graphs show the output of 10 consecutive production lots. One specification is for a wide band and the other specification is for a narrow band, but the reproducibility is excellent, which is very important for most monitoring applications such as capnography. Materian offers infrared filters for many other markets. In addition to gas detection, our filters are also used to detect flames, the thermal images, uh, other medical applications such as uh, specific anesthesia gases, alcohol monitoring for breathalyzers, non-contact temperature measurement, and motion sensors. These next two tables list some of the other gases that can be monitored and quantified using Materian bandpass filters. Uh, water, N2O, carbon monoxide, NO, NO2, sulfur dioxide, freon, and ammonia are just some of the gases that our customers use our bandpass filters to quantify the presence of these gases. How our filters are incorporated into the package is undergoing a dramatic shift in industry right now. For many years, uh, microbolometers or other detectors were packaged in a discrete hermetic package, one detector, one filter. However, the industry is gradually moving toward wafer level packaging, which allows multiple cells to be hermetically sealed at a time, and then the sealed package is diced up. This wafer level packaging approach has successfully dropped the unit cost of each cell by up to 90%. Materian is supporting the shift to wafer level packaging by offering 200 millimeter cover wafers that contain the array of filters in a two-dimensional grid this grid is surrounded by a metallization which allows hermetic bonding to the host wafer that contains the array of matching microbolometers. Our processing is done in a class 1000 clean room and is designed to offer a very low defect density over the entire 200 millimeter diameter wafer. The third product family that is being used in the fight against COVID-19 are our family of UV visible and near IR filters used in fluorescence spectroscopy. Polymerase chain reaction is the definitive me method to identify the DNA of a virus. These PCR instruments are used to sequence and identify the DNA of cells, including viruses. A PCR test can identify the novel coronavirus in samples taken by a deep nasal test swab. The nasal swab sample is then dissolved in a liquid fluorophore solution and temperature cycled. After temp cycling, light is passed through the solution through a filter to excite the molecules, which then fluoresce and emit light, which passes through a detector filter. By comparing the spectrum of the fluorescent light to a library, the instrument can then identify the type of virus contained in the sample. Materian is the leading manufacturer of these excitation and emission filters in the ultraviolet, visible, and near-infrared that are the heart of these PCR instruments. To summarize, Materian manufactures products that are vital for the fight against COVID-19. Our line wave infrared filters are used in infrared imaging cameras and are used to accurately measure the temperature of human foreheads. Our carbon dioxide bandpass filters are used to quantify the concentration of carbon dioxide in a patient's exhaled breath used in capnographs. And finally, our fluorescence filters are used in PCR instruments that definitively identify the DNA of the novel coronavirus and distinguish it from other potential viruses. For more information, please contact me at the contact information below. Thank you very much for your attention.